In today's video, I'll be reporting about four different stories related to the engineering college world. It's something new that I haven't done before, and if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Our first story is about the new formula of rankings for G-Advanced papers. Whenever more than one candidate secures the same marks in this year's Joint Entrance Exam Advanced, whoever has secured the higher positive marks will be ranked higher, as per the G-Advanced website updated last week. Although the paper pattern of G-Advanced changes every year, many questions punish wrong answers with negative marks to discourage students from resorting to just randomly guessing. Till last year, the IITs used to break a tie by awarding a higher rank to the candidate with the higher score in the mathematics paper. If the tie still persisted, the higher score in physics decided the higher rank. This year too, these two provisions will come into play if the positive marks formula fails to break the tie. So just to recap, if there's a tie, first they'll check the higher positive marks, then they'll check the higher marks in maths, last they'll check the higher marks in physics. If there's still a tie after exhausting the three steps, the candidates will be assigned the same rank. Since students involved in a tie with more positive marks will necessarily also have more negative marks, the new formula will reward risk-taking rather than playing it safe. For our next story, keeping in view two suicide incidents in the Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, in the past few months, the IIT management is providing online and direct counseling to the students. The online counseling cell comprises of consultants, psychologists, and academic experts to guide and help resolve the issues of students. Last week, a third-year BTEC student committed suicide in his hostel room. Prior to that, in August last year, a postgraduate student who had been battling depression for a few months committed suicide in the hostel. Stress, especially studies and peer pressure, has come to light as the major reasons for these suicidal attempts. Named Your Friend, the counseling facility arranged by IIT is available round the clock to the students, where experts share and try to solve their problems. Through interaction, the experts try to figure out, guide and sort out the problems that lead to stress and depression among students. According to the Dean of Students Welfare, any student in stress, tension, dilemma or doubt can consult this online counseling, which has already become popular amongst the students. Apart from this online counseling, a direct counseling cell has also been put into place, which tries to solve and guide students suffering from depression. So far, problems associated with students coming for counseling are related to academics, low self-confidence, emotional stress, peer pressure, family issues, financial problems, decisions regarding one's career, homesickness, drug, tobacco, alcohol addiction, loneliness, anxiety, and time management. In our third story, Naman Jaswani from the National Institute of Technology, Jalandhar, has achieved a milestone by getting the first rank in Graduate Aptitude Test Engineering, GATE. The national level exam was conducted on 4th February 2018 and is used for admissions to various postgraduate education programs. Currently pursuing his BTEC course in instrumentation from NIT Jalandhar, Naman, a final year student, had started preparing for the exam while he was in the last semester of his third year. Naman dedicated his success to his father and said while he was hard pressed for preparing one of the toughest exams, Constant motivation from his father helped him keep focused for the exam. Meanwhile, he also used to meditate to keep his concentration level intact and always made the surroundings around him suitable for studies. Despite the online test series, mock tests 
and constant practice of each and every part of the syllabus, he got demotivated from not performing well enough. Also at times, it was tough for him to maintain a balance between college and gate preparations as there was a fear of getting detained in his semester exams. But somehow, he maintained the required college attendance. For a gate aspirant, he advised three key qualities, hard work, determination, and willpower. According to the Union Minister of State for Human Resources Development, Dr. Satyapal Singh, in his address at the convocation of IIT Bhubaneswar, institutes like IITs should find its place in the top 100 global institutes of higher learning. The issue, the minister added, needs multiple angles of attention, like international students and faculty presence in the Indian institutes. Along with this, research and innovation and physical facilities are also a must. Congratulating the 295 graduating students and their parents and teachers, Dr. Singh said that the country is counting on these bright young minds to help in the nation building for a new India as envisioned by the Prime Minister. India is in the threshold of technological revolution to be ushered in by advancements in robotics, virtual reality, cloud technology, big data, artificial intelligence, and other technologies. Dr. Singh informed that his ministry is committed to greater quality and excellence in technical education. Dr. Singh has launched the Revitalization Infrastructure Systems in Education, also known as RISE, which aims to provide financial assistance up to rupees 1 lakh crore over a period of four years to IITs, NITs, and ICERs. Dr. Singh lauded the research work in IIT Bhubaneswar, undertaken on the wide range of topics from fundamentals to applied areas of immense importance.